All right, this is the video for section 3.4 notes, slide number 17. All right, so uh, I have, uh, I want to find dy dx for each of these. All right, so y equals 5 to the x squared minus x. All right, so, okay, remember, this is different than the e to the u rule because now we have a, a number other than e here. Okay, so we have 5 to the x squared minus x, so this is going to be the b to the u rule. So the derivative dy dx, all right, using the b to the u rule. So remember, the b to the u rule says b to the u, so 5 to the x squared minus x times the natural log of b, which is 5, times du dx. So derivative of x squared minus x, which would be 2x minus 1. All right, now, there's really nothing else you can do here. You might put the 2x minus 1 in front or the natural log of 5 in front, but this would be it. All right, so number 2, uh, dy dx. All right, derivative of 7 to the tangent, right? So this is like b to the u once again. b is 7, all right? And so we're going to write 7 to the tangent x times the natural log of 7 times the derivative of tangent, so secant squared of x. All right, so that's really it. All right, uh, examples three and four. Now we're using the uh, other rule that we uh, talked about, the log base B of U. So we need to recognize what the base is. So in example three, the base is three. All right, and so the derivative rule for the log base B of U, remember, is one over U natural log of B, right, all in the denominator times DU dx. All right, so dy dx. All right, so we have 1 over u, so 1 over sine of x, right, because that's what's inside of the log, so 1 over sine of x times the natural log of b, so b is the base, which is 3, times du dx, all right, and so du dx derivative of sine is cosine of x. All right, now, we would put the cosine x in the numerator there, so I have cosine x over sine of x natural log 3. And now we could rewrite this as what? Well, we really have cosine over sine and then times 1 over the natural log of 3, right? So don't forget the natural log of 3 is in the denominator, right? So 1 over the natural log of 3. And so you could say that this is cotangent of x over the natural log of 3 or cotangent times 1 over the natural log of 3. All right. Uh, so we do need to make sure that we can simplify trig expressions and things like that. All right. So now the next one, y equals the log base what? Well, remember, when there's no base here, it is the common base of 10. All right. And so we have the log base 10. And so we're going to take our dy dx equals 1 over u, so x cubed plus x squared, times the natural log of 10 times du dx. All right, so du dx, derivative of x cubed, 3x squared plus the derivative of 2x, sorry, x squared would be 2x. All right, and then in parentheses so that we know to put that entire thing into the numerator. All right, so if we put that into the numerator, we have 3x squared plus 2x all divided by the quantity x cubed plus x squared times the natural log of 10. All right. So now we could factor and simplify. So I have 3x squared plus 2x. We can factor out an x. And I have 3x plus 2. And then divided by I could factor out an x squared there. And I would have x plus 1 and then the natural log of 10, all right? And so that means I can reduce the x and the x squared to be left with 3x plus 2 times x times x plus 1 times the natural log of 10, all right? So you got to make sure that you can simplify those because all answers in a, in a multiple choice setting are going to be in the simplest form possible. All right, so that is slide number.